The Blue Barn started in 1989. Uh, four people, Kevin Lawler, Nils Holland, Houston Walkinshaw, and Mary Teresa Green. Uh, three of those were SUNY Purchase graduates from the Acting Conservatory. And it really, we were trained in our, to start our own theaters, and they ended up in Omaha, Nebraska. We've been here for 23 years, so we figured the right place was chosen. We started out with great bylaws that artists always take precedence over the business. We choose our shows uh, from a passionate point of view. One of my patrons, uh, Bob Peters, said uh, to me, you know, the great thing about the Blue Barn is you can always expect the unexpected. So we have shows that are off-Broadway, off-Broadway, off-off-Broadway. We do Pulitzer Prize-winning shows. We do new works. And we've kind of paved our way and just kept going. I mean, we've been, we've been through our ups and downs. 2002, I think, when uh, Blue Barn was limping along and uh, we almost shut our doors and there was something in me that you know, I joked that it was my Norma Ray spirit that came up from nowhere um, or somewhere that had been in me that it's just something that that as an artist I can't do anything else. One person is not the Blue Barn and never has been and never will be. It's um, it's a, a, an amazing chain of, of creative people who have built it to this point. Our season tickets have uh, doubled in the last two years, percentage-wise, which is, is crazy and fantastic. I feel honored to be at the helm right now. And like I said before, I do wish and know for the Blue Barn that uh, failure is not an option. Thank you to Nebraska Arts Council. Uh, to the wonderful people that I work with, Shannon Walenta and Kevin Mahler and Steve Moore and my wonderful, fantastic board who always support the art in Blue Barn. Um, and again, thank you for acknowledging the Blue Barn.